All right, guys, because nobody has done one, we're going to do a, at least try to do a tutorial to run Daphne. Um, a lot of people want to know how to do it. It's usually like seven DVDs full of information. They get to copy and click and paste and put into your folders. So what you do is make one folder for Daphne, and you see it's 17 gigs. Then you click and post or paste every one of the DVDs in their corresponding folders. Uh, like all the frame files go on the one frame file folder. All the laser disc images go in the laser disc folder. Pics, ROMs, sound, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, then after you do that, which is very time consuming, go ahead and open up your Daphne loader. Let's click on a game. Uh, let's just load up Space Ace. Uh, once you click it, go to Configure. Run full screen, obviously. The game settings you can put how many credits, how many lives, how you know how difficult you know, et cetera, et cetera. But the main thing is you go to LaserDisc, and what you want to do is set up the LaserDisc player, which is a virtual LaserDisc player because it's emulation. And then right here it says Frame File Location. What you have to do is find the frame files for the game. So you click it, and see I'm already in the frame file folder. But if you go back, it's basically all this is is that folder open up right here. So I'm in there, go to Frame File, and look Space Ace click it. Then go to MPEG, which is basically the ROM. Same thing. Go to Browse, because we're doing the MPEG. Go up to the LaserDisc, and find the Space Ace one, and then click Space Ace. And that's it. Click OK. Now let's do Dragon's Lair. Same thing. Configure. Virtual LaserDisc player. Let's find the MPEG. So it's a laser disc and it's Dragon's Lair 1. There it is. Go to frame file. There's frame file. And it's Dragon's Lair. So D Lair. And then click OK. And that's it. And basically, what we're going to do next is hit start and it should load the game up. And of course, LaserDisc player has to load up just like any other game, checking their RAMs and ROMs and etc. just to make sure it runs. But this is a virtual LaserDisc player, so it'll just take just a few minutes. But as you can see, the scoreboard is lit up, so it's obviously trying to work. There it goes. Blah, 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 blah. Dragon's Lair. And as you can see, it works. So let's put some coins in there. And just hit start. And then, of course, it works just like the LaserDisc player back in the day in 84. And somebody's text messaging me. Oh, I messed up. As you can see, it works fine. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll try to answer. Um... I know this is probably not the most or best tutorial, but nobody else has done one, so I figured I'd give it a shot. But uh, stay tuned, guys, and uh, if you have any requests, just ask me.